I think uh, 3D printing is probably one of the most exciting things that's been happening in my lifetime and probably everyone's lifetime. It's something for me personally, it's very captivating. And what I find most interesting about it is that it's creating like this whole new class of people, you know? There's always been musicians, there's always been artists, and there's always been painters and readers and writers, but now there are these people of what they're calling makers, which are essentially 3D designers that have a 3D printer on them or 3D printing capabilities, and they have an idea, and the next day or an hour later, two hours, whatever, how long it takes, they have, they have the product, they have the piece. So I'm working on a project for one of our brands, Mark Echo, and the model came in and we liked it but we thought it was touch too big. So this is the size of the sample that came in. So ordinarily we would go back to the supplier and say, can you redraw a CAD for me, which is a 2D image that looks sort of like this. And they would do it and I would get the email back and I would look at the CAD and I would approve it and that could take a couple of days and then by the time I approve it and the vendor goes to make another prototype for me, it could take anywhere from four, sometimes up to eight weeks. So now with the new technology that we have here, all I have to do is simply walk around the corner to where the MakerBot is and out spit something that looks like this. And so now I have a smaller version, an actual physical tangible piece that I can measure and try on and make sure that it's the size that I want and this happens in a matter of hours. So what we found out with 3D printing a lot of times is that a designer can talk about a vision and we can very quickly interpret that, that vision and create a 3D prototype, 3D printed prototype that they can see, touch, feel and talk about, I'd love to make this change and, and how do we bring this to life? So, so in effect, we're, we're uh, not only making the process very fast, but we're also finding that we can interpret uh, a vision much, much uh, more effectively and have someone say, yes, that's right, you got it. That's perfect. If you look at the future of 3D, of 3D printing technology, you'll find that when it comes to eyewear, it, 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 the future has a lot of possibilities from being able to put a 3D printer in an optician's shop and have him print his own eyewear um, to people printing their own eyewear and bringing them just for lenses. The cost of material now is very cheap and over time you know it'll, it'll become even cheaper. Right now printing a pair of eyewear costs about 10 cents in material um, and you, know, you can't get cheaper than that. There's three main reasons to be involved in, in um, 3D printing. One, Clear Vision has to be involved in new technologies just like software was in uh, or, or uh, desktop printing was in the, in, the 19, uh, in the 1980s. So Clear Vision Optical has to be there. From what we've learned, a lot of companies that are like us, medium-sized, uh, import-export, distributor-type companies are not involved. We need to be involved in the technology, number one. Number two, it's very, very important to help our designers work with our production facilities overseas. We can actually design something here, print it here, try it on here, and then magically send that file overseas uh, to have that same product printed at the other end and then have a Skype conversation about the product. And then number three, I think what it does also, it allows us to have some excitement in the organization and in the community. That means people in our company understand that Clear Vision Optical is an innovator. Uh, people in the company understand that we're moving forward. People in our community, in the optical community, understand that we're moving forward. People in the optical community see that we're doing something different. Those, I think, would be the, the main reasons. One, we need to be involved. Two, we see that there's a benefit to the uh, production cycle. Three, that it shows that we're an innovator. I think the, the last piece, though, the, the, there probably is a fourth one. And that fourth one has to do with, down the road, is this ever going to be a production product? Can these 3D printers ultimately bring back manufacturing to the United States? Everyone says yes, and we know in other industries it's already happening. So is it possible in 10 or 15 years or five years that Clear Vision Optical is printing frames in the United States? That's an absolute possibility, but the only way we're going to ever know that is if we get involved now. The only thing 
that hold you back when it comes to 3D printing is your own imagination. So if you can think it, you could print it. It's really almost that easy.